Screen printing is the baby of the printmaking processes. It's little more than a hundred years old. It started out as a commercial process, but now artists, graphic designers and so on use it all the time. Billboards are often screen pro process printed. Um, Julian Opie's famous uh, blur portraits, screen printed. Saul Bass's fantastic um, film posters, screen printed. And of course, Andy Warhol's uh, portraits of Marilyn and the Queen and so on. So here's how you screen print. All right, to make a, a silk screen print, you need artwork, of course, something you've designed or drawn, but um, you also need something which is made from that drawing uh, and which is called a positive. And the positive can look like that. This is a hand-drawn but very sharp-edged positive. And there just needs to be something which will stop light and something which will allow light to pass through. OK, the first thing you need to do once you've turned your artwork into a positive is to make sure that the screen is coated with a light sensitive emulsion and you'll see what this does later on. Here we go. So we've coated the screen, it has to dry and so it goes in this horizontal dryer, 10 minutes maybe, and that's that. Right, so now we can expose the positive to the screen or the screen to the positive. And this machine is a source of, a really strong source of ultraviolet light, very strong where it can shine through it hardens the emulsion where it can't shine through the emulsion stays soluble in water and you'll see exactly what that is a little later in the process okay now at this stage nothing really seems to have happened but it has it's only revealed when we spray water at it so i'm going to wet this side and then continue to wash from this side until the image starts to appear. Okay, the next thing to do is to put the screen on the print, on the print table. Registration of colour is really important. When you're printing on paper, you want the ink to arrive on the paper in the same place time after time after time. The registration marks or stops should be put in these three positions at the side and bottom of the paper that you're going to print on. So the printing ink we use here at Middlesex is ordinary acrylic paint but we mix it with a special medium which is designed for screen printing and this slows down the ink tendency to dry rather quickly. It mustn't do that if you're screen printing. Okay, so the print sequence is in two parts, the flood stroke and the actual print stroke. This is the flood stroke. Put the squeegee behind that ridge of ink to push it that direction. Then you put the screen down and pull it towards you. So that's the first colour of our two colour print. And this is where the registration marks come in handy. You can just look at those and when they match, you know it fits. That's what makes printmaking a reproducible activity. So that's a screen print and that's how to do it. Um, it's my particular enthusiasm. I love screen printing, but all printmaking has one thing in common, magic. Um, I've been doing this for 40 years. Every time I lift that lid up, I'm still amazed that it still works. So, go forth and print.